the rubber mold man showed me how to paint these statues and you use um, acrylic paint and you could buy this at Walmart for like $2.50 two of them for five dollars basically you want to add some in here with some water and then you mix it and then you you basically just put it on and see if I I don't know if it's capturing this but if I go over real quick it doesn't get what what is white you see that you see that right there so later on that's going to be that what's white now it's going to be black and what's black will be the color that I painted so after this color the first application it's going to be black and then the second application is going to be green and that's what's going to make this turtle stand out and have that 3d effect and it's awesome because this paint gets absorbed like a sponge would water into the pores of the concrete and this is actually like the fun part and I should have used a bigger paintbrush for this but I'm only going to be doing this one for now so I don't mind doing it with this little paintbrush Anyway, you just want to cover it. If if you're really serious about this, I guess what you can do is get water and paint like this in a big bucket and then put that in there. Put your statue in there for for a few hours or a few minutes. But I'll say like if you left it in there for a whole hour and then you took it out and let it dry it will really give the paint time to get um, to get soaked up into the pores of the concrete and maybe you'll get a consistent color all the way around which will be great for your um, overall like uh, quality the quality of your statue and and it will probably last longer. The color would probably last longer. And because it, you're, you would uh, allow it to seep through. Um, in, into the concrete. And the, I guess the longer you keep it in there, the more it will absorb into the into the concrete without drying or without creating a layer that will harden and prevent any more fluid from going into it like say for example I did this one then I applied a second application it will be harder for it to to get absorbed because of that first layer of paint. So, so yeah, that's like if you're really serious about it though. And I guess if you, if, if, if you're into this stuff, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And like I said, like this stuff I learned from the rubber mold man. And you guys could go visit his website. He's, um, cool because he shared this information that I know now like free you know like he 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 posted videos on on YouTube as well so you can look him up and find some of his stuff and even like some of these that some of the molds that he has available that you could buy um, 
so you can sell in your own community because it's very difficult to sell these and you know transport them because of the weight but what he does is he provides you with the molds and you could paint them or you could sell them as a natural color and they sell regardless you know and it's really you know how much you want to sell it for like this one painted I usually sell them for ten dollars without the paint but with the paint you could easily sell it for like twenty five dollars or or even more but twenty five dollars is like a reasonable um, amount even five dollars I mean um, five dollars additional of the of the ten will be ideal as well you know 15 20 bucks for your time and I know I'm going a little bit too crazy on this um, on the you know this and see that's why it's better probably just to dip it like if if this was my statue just dip it in there and leave it there come back take it out and then let it drip dry then you know you won't have to be brushing anything it will eliminate all that hassle you know and, and the great thing about all this concrete stuff is that you spend like an hour and do all your pouring and if, if you have like multiple patterns or molds then you know you just focus on you know dedicate like an hour or two of your time and fill all your molds come back at three days later demold them and repeat the process and then whenever you have free time just paint them or not it depends it really depends on what you want to do but anyway I'm basically done here so now you guys are gonna see once this is dried and cured you guys will see what I'll do next and you'll see how it stands out how how it pops out once I brush the green color over the black and the black is gonna give it a depth and it's pretty cool is you can look up uh, the rubber mold man's videos on on uh, YouTube and he explains everything there for for you guys um, and but yeah even this looks pretty cool just an all black turtle um, but yeah I'll be using this uh, Christmas green color and like I said you could buy two of these for five dollars at Walmart and you could buy a non-gloss uh, flat or gloss whatever you like um, but yeah anyways I'm gonna be editing this video on iMovie because um, I obviously can't record over like once I pause this video so anyway Talk to you guys later. So that's about it. That's that's um that's how it would sell right here like so that's it right there because you have the green and then the black is um what comes out of the shell so imagine the shell going in i mean the body of the turtle going in you just have the green so usually that's how turtles are, right? So anyway, the 
The one thing I did notice is that it has a lot of air bubbles. But that's because I didn't, like, I don't have a vibrator to get all those bear, uh, bubbles to rise up to the bottom. Or the top, which is the bottom now, because it's reversed. But anyway, I hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys like this, you know, like it. But if you guys want to make your own, go visit rubbermoldman.com. Um, and also, you can watch him on YouTube as well. So, go check him out.